Minerals. What are they? What do they do inside your body? And how do they affect your blood sugar? Do you know the most abundant mineral found inside the human body? And what is its connection to proper glucose control? There's a lot of talk about vitamins and minerals in your food, and we've already broken down the five best vitamins for your blood sugar. So now it's time to put minerals under the microscope. We're about to reveal the five very best minerals for fighting diabetes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for three free gifts. Now, don't take minerals for granted. Get it? These are the five best minerals for diabetics. What exactly are minerals? If you think they're just rocks, well, you're pretty much correct. While vitamins are organically created by plants and animals, minerals are inorganic. These compounds are created in soil and water, and then consumed by animals and absorbed by plants. We ingest minerals by consuming those animals and plants. And believe it or not, we need these rocks for our survival, as minerals are essential elements that the human body uses for a wide array of bodily functions. In some cases, we need significant quantities of macro minerals, meaning we must consume 100 milligrams or more of these elements each day. But the human body also requires small amounts of trace elements, also known as microminerals. While we only need 15 milligrams or less of these trace minerals each day, they are also vital to multiple bodily functions. There are so many minerals required by the human body that we couldn't fit them all into this list. So let's start out with an honorable mention. Calcium. Of course, this mineral is essential for maintaining strong bones, which can be especially important for older adults and diabetics at risk of potentially bone-breaking falls. Calcium also aids blood circulation and helps nerves to function properly. And did you know that calcium is the most abundant macro mineral in the human body? But what is the most abundant and possibly most important micro mineral in our body? Stay tuned to discover the answer. If you want to acquire proper amounts of calcium daily, try unsweetened Greek yogurt, leafy greens like kale and bok choy, broccoli, oranges, and beans and lentils. So, which macro and micro minerals are the five most important for your blood sugar balance? Let's find out. Number five, selenium. Selenium is an important antioxidant, and it works to reduce cancerous oxidative stress. That's why multiple studies show that high levels of selenium in the blood are associated with a decreased risk of certain types of cancer. But low levels of selenium in the blood are associated with an increased risk of heart disease. It's also been shown that people diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease are more likely to have low levels of selenium in their blood. But research suggests that those afflicted with this disease can improve their memory, verbal fluency, and other mental functions by increasing their intake of selenium. And naturally, due to its antioxidant benefits, some studies now suggest that maintaining proper levels of selenium can work to decrease the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. However, other studies have shown that diabetics tend to have high levels of selenium in their blood, which may signal that excess selenium may actually contribute to a diabetes diagnosis. Therefore, Researchers at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have suggested that diabetics and those at risk for developing diabetes avoid taking selenium supplements. Instead, maintain healthy selenium levels by gaining this mineral through your food. Try Brazil nuts, which, pound for pound, supply the highest amount of selenium of any food. Plus, go for seafood, like tuna and halibut, lean meats, like chicken and turkey, legumes like beans and lentils, and in the morning, choose eggs, whole wheat bread, or steel cut oats. Number four, zinc. Here's an essential nutrient to get into your body each and every day. It's involved in multiple bodily processes, including enzymatic reactions, immune function, and wound healing. Zinc is also integral to cell growth and cell division 
and it's crucial to diabetics, as it aids metabolism, digestion, and nerve health. Zinc also aids collagen synthesis and the human body's inflammatory response, which basically means that it helps wounds on the skin to heal faster. This can be of special importance for diabetics who have slow healing wounds on hands and feet. In fact, a recent study found that diabetic participants with foot ulcers who received 200 milligrams of zinc per day for 12 weeks had significant reductions in the size of their ulcers compared to the control group who received placebos. And by improving the immune response, zinc can help to reduce the risk of diabetes and age-related macular degeneration. Doctors recommend ingesting approximately 11 milligrams of zinc daily if you are male and 8 milligrams daily if you are female. So, where can you acquire your daily dose of zinc? Try oysters, which supply more zinc per serving than any other source, small cuts of grass-fed red meat like lamb and beef, nuts and seeds like almonds and pumpkin seeds, and quality sources of protein like chicken and chickpeas. At the end of the day, zinc is the second most abundant trace mineral found in the human body which just goes to show how very important zinc is for your overall health. But which trace element is the most abundant micromineral found in your body? Say hello to. Number 3. Iron Iron is essential for everyone, as the body uses it in the production of hemoglobin and myoglobin, which provide oxygen to organs and muscles. That's why this mineral is so important, especially for diabetics as it eases delivery of oxygen from the bloodstream into muscle cells and pancreatic cells. In fact, as chronic high blood sugar can damage red blood cells, diabetics are at risk for iron deficiency anemia, a condition where blood has low levels of healthy red blood cells. And while an iron deficiency can cause feelings of fatigue and concentration issues, getting proper amounts of iron works to improve cognition. However, it's also important to understand that having too much iron can also be problematic. Studies show that chronically high levels of iron can lead to elevated glucose levels, and it can raise the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Excess iron in the blood is also linked to high blood pressure, strokes, and Alzheimer's disease. Still, you need iron each day. But the trick is to avoid iron supplements, and instead, Simply eat quality whole foods, which should give you your daily dose of iron without overloading your system. Adult men should aim for approximately 8.7 milligrams of iron per day, while women should go for as much as 14.8 milligrams of iron. This is due to the fact that women lose some of their iron during their monthly period. Therefore, doctors also recommend that postmenopausal women over the age of 50 decrease their iron intake with the goal of ingesting 8.7 milligrams per day. Try dark leafy greens like spinach and silver beet, legumes like red kidney beans and edamame, nuts and seeds like pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds and cashews, grass-fed red meat, broccoli, mushrooms, and olives. So what is the very best mineral for diabetics? That's just ahead. But first, here comes number two, chromium. While your body only needs small quantities of this micromineral, chromium is immensely important for glucose control. The human body uses chromium in the process of breaking down fats, and it stimulates fatty acid and cholesterol synthesis. It also works to improve the action of insulin and the breakdown of carbohydrates and glucose. Past studies have shown that chromium can work to lower fasting blood glucose and fasting insulin concentrations. More recent studies suggest that chromium and chromium supplements reduce feelings of hunger and unhealthy food cravings, thus aiding weight loss. However, while a chromium deficiency can impair glucose tolerance and it may raise the risk of heart disease, doctors caution against taking chromium supplements, especially if you are diabetic. That's because excess chromium may actually cause your blood sugar to drop too low, and it may also lead to kidney and liver damage. Plus, results of recent studies of the effects of chromium supplements on diabetics have been mixed, with some studies concluding that chromium supplements can lower blood sugar, improve insulin sensitivity, 
and lower the risk of developing diabetes. But other studies did not find a clear link between chromium supplementation and increased benefits for diabetics. That's why doctors recommend that you acquire your chromium naturally through a well-rounded diet. Adult men should aim for about 35 micrograms of chromium daily, and adult women are recommended to consume 25 micrograms daily. Men and women over 50 should decrease their chromium intake slightly. You can easily acquire proper levels of this mineral through a healthy diabetes-fighting diet. Try broccoli, green beans, whole grains, eggs, apples, and even coffee. Are you ready to discover the most important mineral for diabetics? That's coming right up. But first, let's get you those three free gifts. Gain a new perspective on a wide world of diabetes fighting, nutrition packed foods within our free ebook, Superfoods for Diabetics. Discover previously hidden secrets about diabetes and your health in episode one of that diabetes documentary and learn how to cook delicious and satisfying diabetes fighting meals with the recipes inside, snacks, meals, and desserts that lower blood sugar. Don't miss out on these amazing free gifts. Simply click the link in the description below to grab them all right now. Okay, it's finally time to reveal the best mineral for diabetics. Number one, magnesium. Of course, this macro mineral is essential for everyone as it plays a key role in the health of both muscles and nerves. It's also used by the human body in the production of bone, protein, and DNA. But the benefits of magnesium don't end there. It also works to lower blood pressure, reduce inflammation, and enhance exercise performance. Plus, magnesium has been found to aid brain function and mood. And research shows that getting proper amounts of this mineral works to curb feelings of depression. But Critically, for those suffering from diabetes, magnesium is also involved in the regulation of blood sugar. Magnesium works to manage insulin and carbohydrate metabolism. It also aids the body's ability to secrete insulin, and studies show it may improve insulin sensitivity. A recent meta-analysis of multiple studies concluded that those who get more magnesium are at a decreased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, compared with people who consume less magnesium. It is also important to know that diabetics tend to be deficient in this needed mineral, as having a resistance to insulin may cause the body to shed excess magnesium through urine. Multiple studies have shown that diabetics who consumed between 250 and 450 milligrams of magnesium supplements daily for up to 24 weeks had significantly reduced fasting blood sugar levels. However, as is the case with other minerals, Doctors recommend getting your daily dose of magnesium through your normal diet, rather than through supplements. That's because taking too much magnesium can increase the risk of hypoglycemia, or low levels of blood sugar, especially in combination with other diabetes medications. The recommended daily intake of magnesium for adult men is approximately 415 milligrams. And for adult women, it's about 340 milligrams. To acquire a healthy amount of magnesium from healthy sources, try spinach, beans, whole grains, chicken, avocados, steel cut oatmeal, and unsweetened Greek yogurt. Now you know all about minerals and why they are so important for your health and your blood sugar control. Acquire them naturally through a healthy, diabetes fighting diet. But how do you feel about taking mineral supplements? Do you think they can be beneficial? Or has your doctor told you to avoid all supplements? Comment below and add your voice to our community. Before you head out, please like this video and why not subscribe to Diabetes Smarts? To really show your appreciation, we'd be honored if you clicked the thanks button. And we want to thank you for watching. With our three free gifts, just click the link below to grab them all instantly. Now we hope you have a diabetes fighting day.